Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the LDM show. Is my mic thing on? I don't hear me stuff. I don't hear myself. Just want to make sure. Make sure. Yeah, okay. We good. We good. We good. So how we doing, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the LDM show. Today's going to be a great show. Uh, it's a crossover show from the, guy, from the guys that come right after me, Dear Summer. A uh, bunch of four guys, if you haven't watched the show, let me explain it. Four guys that show you how to stay healthy, exercise, work out, but it's not just a workout show. They get a little comedy, they talk, they bring different type of people in. So it's not your, just your regular Jane Fonda type of talk uh, uh, show, you know? They don't do one hour of exercise, even though some of the exercise make you feel like you've been working out for three hours. But, uh, <laughs> you know, bunch of cool guys, they're all trainers, some of them are models. Uh, no, I think they're all models, right? All four of them? Yeah, all four of them are models. They all work out and stuff like that. So they're going to, um, some of the cast members will be here today. So that will be a great uh, thing to show you guys the other side of them as well. So, and, and basically, it's just going to be a guy talk today because, it's, you know, if they come, it's just a bunch of guys and just talking. So get ready, ladies. We might be uh, talking a lot of crap. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> but, uh, get ready anyway, um, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to make sure you guys know to buy your tickets for the LDM Music Awards, uh, before it gets sold out. And then, you know, we're going to have the same problem we have last year with people outside wanting to come in, but they couldn't. And they couldn't understand that, you know, it's not us, it's the place that we rent. You know, it's just, it's just that, you know, they only have, space for five people then the first five people that come in that's so you know i'm not saying that there's only for five people so don't you know don't take it literally what i'm trying to tell you but uh it's 120 something people i think it is right yeah it's only 120 something people capability of 120 something people and that's because we have staff members cameras all over the place so you know we can't overdo it and then there won't be no room and then you know then the stage takes pretty much a lot of the space as well so just uh you know have fun when we come but keep on those votes on all these out uh independent music award people uh well the independent artists uh because i just said independent award people they, there's no <laughs> award people but the independent artists keep an eye on them they are doing good i, I just heard one song today and i was like wow I, that was a real good song so there are real good singers out there. So check them out. Um, I, I don't remember the title, of the, 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 the name. I told you the name, right, of that song that we were just listening to? Yeah, my engineer says something. There's no, no uh, group called something, so don't even try looking for that person's name. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I'm, sh I, I'm shocked sometimes when I hear some of the songs. So, but anyway, um, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's let's uh, do some little bit of word on the streets. So, MTA. Let's go back to the MTA because that's my biggest issues. Uh, are the people from MTA, and I'm not talking about the workers. I'm talking about the people that jump on the uh, bus. MTA will be putting cameras. I don't know if I told you guys before, but they're going to be putting cameras in front of the uh, buses to catch the cabs. They say the cars that are parked in the um, in the bus stop. We all know what type of cars be parked in the bus stop, and those are the cabs. So it's a hundred and fifty dollar ticket and one point on the license every time they catch you on the bus stop, which is good because these cabs need to learn how to pull over correctly. You know, and stop pulling over in the middle of the street or wherever and stopping on a dime um, because someone is going to get hurt. I think there should be a uh, harder law on these taxi drivers, you know, and zooming and flying, you know, like, you know, like what the heck are you doing? That you have passengers, you know what I'm saying? Wow, I'm so dark. But anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just see myself on the screen, and I'm like, wow, am I that dark? But uh, maybe maybe I am. I'm probably getting some suntan out there. But uh, anyway, um, and then they're thinking about, see, this is the conspiracy part that I'm thinking about. 
they thinking about putting cameras at the side doors as well to catch the people that is jumping on the buses without paying. Sounds like a great idea, but is it me or did you just rat out the government saying that they doing face recognitions? Is that what you're just trying to tell me, MTA? That the people are, the government is using our faces and uh, identifying us? Because that's the only way you're going to know who the heck we are. How are you going to give us a ticket? You know what I'm saying? So these are little things you got to think about. But that would be so, so awesome. I, I, I think when people come in, click, click, and then you're in, in your house. But then what happens to the ones that are in the streets? Because there's a lot of people that are jumping on those buses that are on the streets. So could it be that uh, who going to give it to? We're going to go... 149 box three like you know they don't really got no address all they got is boxes out there was it that box four? Oh, they, he moved where he at oh he went uptown to box eight okay my bad you know what i'm saying like you can't really give them tickets so that's a good idea but then it's a bad idea but most of the people that do skip they got money they, they got two bucks come on i just seen you buy a bag of weed you come you're gonna tell me you don't have no two bucks i just seen you coming out of mcdonald's you know what i'm saying one time this lady came with her fake fur and then sneaking into the back. And it's a church lady at that. What, she gave all her money to her pastor for the, for the roof fund? I'm just saying. I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing these out there for you guys to think about. You know, uh, but it has to stop because now MTA is saying they lost over $200 million because of the people jumping on the uh, buses and the trains and stuff. But the good news about it, the train skippers went down. I guess because they have so many cops on the uh, the real good spots that it went down. Now they can't jump the trains like that. But um, now they're attacking the buses, which is great. They need to, you know. And then I, I love the parts where you got to pay for the ticket for the bus outside, and then you come into the bus for free. But there's cops coming when you when you get to the bus stop. I love seeing those people's faces. Ah, oh, like they ain't nothing better to do but to stop me. Um, they are cops. They stop lawbreakers. You are a lawbreaker. That's what their job is. You know what I'm saying? They MTA police officers. Their job is to catch people that are skipping on the MTA. They're not regular police. So they are doing their job, so don't get upset. You know? I could imagine, you know, when you're on that bus and you're getting towards a bus stop and you see the cops. What is their, their, their thing? Oh, man. Oh, damn. Here we go. Shit, I don't got my ticket. And then I always love those people that looking for their tickets, knowing you're damn real. You didn't buy one in the first place. Stop looking in your pocket three to four times. It's not going to magically appear in the pocket that you just looked at three to four times. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, uh, can't do it. But anyway, some of you people that like, get on the bus, and I notice, like, when I get on the bus, sometimes it's because I'm tired or I'm being lazy. But I notice like half of the times that I get on the bus, the person gets on with me, more healthier than I am. It's a beautiful day outside, and I get off and you get off. I walk almost 20 some odd minutes every day, pretty much every day to get to the studio, back and forth, because you know it's a nice day, it's a nice walk. I need a little bit of the exercise because you know, I'm injured, so I gotta exercise and work that out. But um, some guys, you, we gotta, we gotta walk, do some walk, and that, you know, I guess that's why I got Dear Summer here today to, to explain a little bit about that. You know, take a walk, get a, take a, uh, get off the bus or the train one stop before. It depends because there's some train stops that are like 20 blocks away. I don't know if you want to really do that, um, but especially in the summer. Uh, but take a walk, little exercise here and there. Uh, it will help you out a little bit. I'm just giving little pointers. But uh, my wow stories are always will be coming from MTA trains or buses. But uh, take that walk, get an exercise, you know, and work out. But uh, again, for all you guys that have been watching and supporting us through the years, I am so happy. We are like on, what, uh, 260, maybe 70 episodes by now. So going strong. I can't wait to hit that thousand, which uh, I doubt it because who, who knows? I might be retiring and having someone else take over the LDM show for me, um, hosting that. That's my big dream. 
the LDM show won't die. I'm just saying I might just pull to the side and let someone else um, host the LDM show while I relax. But anyway, a um, couple of things that have been going on in the news that um, with the Trump guy, I don't really want to talk about him no more. But uh, the one thing that I posted up was, which got a lot of feedback, was the one that I said on my personal um, page. I said, people complain about this country or this city so much. It's only a plane ticket away to your so-called freedom, right? Or your happiness, something like that I wrote. Uh, and, and along on that lines. And what I'm trying to say is, if you came down here because your life was over there was so, so bad and you had to come down here, then don't complain. It's probably better than what you had over there. Now, with that said, if you are one of these complainers, then do something about it because I'm tired of people complaining about this, complaining about that. But when it's time to vote or when it's time to go to the uh, community boards or time to go to anything to voice your or your opinion or voice your voice, you're not there. Do you have rights to complain then? I say no. It was a couple people said, oh, but, you know, it's the First Amendment. You know, they can, they, freedom of speech. Yeah, freedom of speech, but there's no amendment calling freedom of complaint. Speech, to me, is different from complaining. All you're doing is complaining. Ah, this, ah, that. The government don't want to help me. The government don't want to do this. The government don't want to do that. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Do something for yourself first before you even worry about it. The government is going to help you. You understand? Uh, when, I got, when I got injured uh, way back, I was without pay for like three weeks, I think it was, because I was in the, going to court and everything. I tried to, to get help from the government. It didn't work. But I didn't complain about it. I got out. Oh, shit. Who tell me? The doctors were like, oh, you're not going to be able to walk. When I started seeing my bills and my savings going down, I forced myself to walk again and do a lot of stuff. And then, you know, I won the lawsuit, but that's a different thing. What I'm trying to say is do something before you want someone else to do it for you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the people are... Uh, are demanding like, oh, I want the government to help me. The government don't want to give me this. The government don't want to give me that. Do for yourself first. You understand? Try that first to see how that works. Um, don't rely. It's just like your, your mom or your dad always, well, my mom always told me, never rely on someone. It's just like if someone says, hey, I'll drive you to, the, uh, to uh, your job or, or something. You sit there actually waiting for that person and knowing that you're going to be late. What you do? No. You be like, oh, well, I can't wait. And you jump on that train and you leave. Now, if you're late because you're waiting for that person, then you're one of those people that want to rely on everybody. I don't. I, I'm like, yo, yo, Charles, I'll drive you. Oh, you drive me? Cool. I'm le I need to leave at 8. All right. By 8.02, I'm already gone. I'm not waiting because I'm not relying on someone because it's not their life. You know what I'm saying? If you get there late, it doesn't reflect on them. It reflects on you. If you get anything taken away because you didn't want to give in that paperwork or something, it doesn't reflect anyone else but you. The government didn't do it. There was no conspiracy. There's, you know, no one got cameras in your house and talking all this other stuff. So we as humans um, living in this earth, we need to first start taking the blame for our actions to ourselves first. Stop blaming every single person. This is what I'm trying to say. Uh, a few days ago, I think it was, or last week, some little 11 year old got robbed for a $700 phone. I was speaking to my, my uh, staff members here. I said, who do you blame? Everybody said the robber. Why? You know who I blame? The mother for giving, or the father for giving that little 11 year old a $700 phone to be walking home by himself. First of all, he's 11 years old. He's still not adult to be walking anywhere by himself. You know what I'm saying? I know it's hard for a parent to be there after school and stuff like that. What happened to the buddy system? You know what I'm saying? 
make sure he has a neighbor that goes to that same school to walk together, something like that. I, I remember, even though my school was only literally three blocks away, we had a buddy system. We couldn't leave without my other friends, even though we all lived in the same building and we enjoyed leaving together, but it was still a buddy system. He had a $700 phone, you know what I'm saying, to be taken away. You know that people rob. You know people are uh, uh, out there stealing. So don't give your kid a $70 phone and put them as a target and then blame the robber. Let's start putting the blame where it first began. You threw the little rock to start that ripple effect. By you giving him, your son that phone, that $700 phone, you started off a ripple effect. So let's start putting the blame and let's be more cautious of what we're doing in our lives to save our kids. With that said, we're going to take a break. I don't know what commercial they're going to put because I, I, I even forgot to ask them. But whatever they're going to put, enjoy it. We'll be right back. <laughs> Are the 2019 LDM Independent Music Award Country Music nominees Sister Sister with Another Fast Love? Glenda Peters, Let Me Be Home. My dreams of has got me and re Pice no with discount tobacco and beer. Discount tobacco and beer. Discount tobacco and beer. Catherine Shipley with God gave me all I need. And these were the 2019 LDM Independent Music Award 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the gospel category. Camilla P. With About You. Williams with forgiveness. Rio with gonna tear your kingdom down. Car with storm. I'm part of it. Like your sound. These were the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees. 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the hip hop category. Nuxstar with Trap Selena. Little Deuces with Crunch Time. Yeah. I'm about to spit on this beat so best believe I'm going to be the king of this league. And Jay is my city. I rep that probably even though haters flood this town. Richard Picasso with no freedom. Jack on a tombstone, yeah, the grave slate. Brought to the native lands, no free will. Tears running down our face, they don't know how we feel. 500 years we persevered, and I still don't think now the worst is here because we're black. And because my skin won't crack, milk and white women's faces, we've been low back. Hire the arsonist with good chick. I don't ever gotta check my bank account. All I need is a woman is down for the And these were the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the hip hop category. Hello and welcome back to the LDM show, guys. What's up, and, people? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't try to fix the station or the channel. It's not 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's not 8 o'clock <laughs> right now. <laughs> it is Thursday, though. My favorite day, of course. Oh, yes. <laughs> we got uh, Body by Sandor right here for Dear Summer. You know, the, uh, <laughs> basically the founder of the show yes, sir, yes, sir. right here. So we're expecting the other guys. It's supposed to be a crossover. Then they're like, what? Six o'clock? Yeah. No, no. I don't know what crossover they thought. You probably thought I meant a crosswalk or something like that. You know, I, I hope that's the only guys. crossover, not the, the other kind of crossover. You guys can't cross over. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> if they come with high heels and stuff like that, there's a problem. There's a big problem. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, I didn't mean Fashion that type SOS. of crossover. <laughs> I'm in distress. <laughs> that's a different type of show. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, Model, mm -hmm. actor, and, mm -hmm. and now a host of your own show. Yeah, I've come. How come you fitting all this, man? Oh, uh, I'm fitting it in as best I can. <laughs> I've I've come a long way, man. Uh, started out as just uh R&B artist. Oh you know, yeah, and an artist. Good yeah, singing. Forgot that. Uh, Look at that. Don't don't forget the vote in yeah, the LDM radio. You know your boys in the 2020 for the you know R&B nominees. Of course, you just have to yes. throw that in there goes the plug. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta push it in. You gotta push that. But in. um, yeah, I started started out singing, doing music. You know, and, you know, you go into the industry of actually trying to get signed and stuff, you know, long story short. And what I realized was that what was missing, uh, I didn't have someone to actually critique what I was wearing. I was always more distressed about what I was wearing during the day of the show rather than the song That's itself. Wow. You know what I mean? So uh, at some point, I sought out Mr. Runway, of course, Frederick Mirrors. You know, he was already doing the modeling and stuff, and he kind of guided me through the modeling stuff. Uh, the acting stuff I've been doing since a kid, and I don't know, it's kind of like I just saw life coming at me in one, you know, spark, and it was like, hey, just, you know, filter everything, you know, through one network, and just, you know, it just made everything activate, you know? Yeah, pushing off. And just push. Whatever you got, push it. You know, God give you a talent. You know, don't limit yourself. Take everything you got and just make it happen. You've been paying your whole life for this. Yeah, you, you actually, you know? guys, you could never know what, because I always tell people, you don't know what you want. Right. But your destiny does. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like you, mm -hmm. you could. How many college kids go for one degree and then come out and they're doing a different job? Some of them quit college and go do something totally different. Yeah, and, <laughs> and they and they making it still. Mm -hmm. You know, they're making it in the world, but they don't they never seen themselves doing what they were doing right. now. And it's the same thing. You started off at an, another show doing a little clip here and there, right. and now you have your own show, mm -hmm. which is is doing great. Thank God for that. Yeah, gracious, gracious. It's, you know, it's doing great, and um, the whole good thing about it is uh, you know. I'm in the background of his show, so <laughs> I see things that they don't see. Right. So um, I'm very humble that this guy took criticism when I was like, don't do a whole hour of just working out. It sounds kind of stupid because it is a workout show. Boring. You know, but <laughs> I'm looking at it in what he said. All right, yeah, let's give it a try. Ever since then, they don't do it. <laughs> and their ratings have been going up and pop, up and pop, people have pop. been, you know. And it's, and it's fun. Like, mm -hmm. but do you ever seen yourself doing a half? uh education workout comedy show like you know um honestly i i had well it, it really wasn't even a dear summer dream to be honest with you uh body by sandor was always in effect uh from years ago only because uh at some point i had gotten to a really bad car accident mm. and uh got slipped this in my back took me out for about six months from work uh you know i was driving to therapy uh still you know with two of my younger sons well two of my both of my sons at the time uh, and after the therapy, the doctors pretty much like, you know, give up on you. And it's like my back is still hurting. Yeah. They told me I wouldn't be able to stand up straight. So when I sat down, it hurt and I stood up, it hurt. And right. I just like being in pain. So I went and took on the role of being my own personal trainer, you know, mm -hmm. researching and figuring out, you know, how to adjust my back, who I need to go to. And, you know, I slowly just educated myself to heal myself. You know, I took mm -hmm. that as a lesson. To, hey, let me give that gift to other people. You know what I mean? Let me help somebody else who's struggling or who's in distress. And it just grew. And at some point I figured, you know, I'm going to take this personal training thing to a higher level where I actually want to open up my own business. And I've been training as a masseuse as well on the side. But you know, that's another story as far as right, grants right. and stuff like that. But all the tools fit, you know. So when, you know, the offer came, you know, to make it actually live, to, you know, to broadcast it to other people, I jumped on it. You know, because yeah. that's exactly where it needs to be. For other people to see that, you know, there's help out here. Other than what you see advertising on TV and stuff, like, this is this is real. Yeah, it, it's good. And a lot of people do comments. So if you guys are watching my show, mm -hmm. come back at 8 o'clock um, and check out the the show there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fun. Um, 
is educational at the mm -hmm. same time. So you're learning and having fun at the same time, which, right. which I like about it. Uh, so you know, the whole, all the shows basically on the network is similar to teaching you something, right. but not giving you that regular, boring one right. hour show. Um, I think my own my, my show is probably the only one that I actually sit down. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, everybody else is like pretty much. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna change my stuff around, maybe now. <laughs> No, no, but at least we keep it uh, funny and, and, you know, entertaining mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And then um, you had, so far, martial artists, yeah. a cook, yeah. a yoga, yeah. um, a, a hip-hop artist. In, yeah. in your, um, what else is coming? Um, well, the whole team, uh, they're actually all uh, bosses of, like, their own skill, right. you know. And that's, that's what made them uh, so valuable to their summers because... They don't need coaching. They know what they have to do. So a lot of us, again, like you were saying earlier, are models, actors, artists, singers. So some of us have R&B shows coming up real soon, arts production, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, some of us have uh, films that are coming out. You know, we're still doing the acting thing. I myself okay. have uh, an audition coming up this Saturday. A uh, bunch of people are, you know, trying to get you to do as many things as possible. You know, Fashion Week is coming up. So oh, yeah. all of us is getting ready for the runway. It's like everybody besides... Just being in shape, because this is something you're going to need to do to, you know, be in all these other things that you do as well. So it kind of fits, you know. And they're all out just doing their own thing. Like uh, the nin ninjutsu, uh, IBN Dixon, ninjutsu instructor that I bring on that does the capoeira, he's mm -hmm. actually an actor. And he's actually shooting his own film. Like he's doing it right now. Oh, you know wow. what I mean? So he has some things going on. Uh, Master Ta, blesses the Master Ta, yeah. Us. He's getting ready for competition, so yep. that's why you haven't seen him so much being too active. You know, he's fast and doing yeah, what he got to do so he can get uh, ready to, you know, rock out. Yeah, we're actually know. leaving, I think, in July July mm -hmm. to August. We're actually going to Philly okay. for a day um, for our competition. So um, I'm going there to support <laughs> <laughs> um, because I haven't had really time. And not only to support, I'm going right. to go see who has the belt because I'm supposed to fight for my belt back. Uh oh. So this is what my satire had wanted me to go to a meeting. Okay. And I couldn't go, so I had to talk on the phone right. with the meeting. And our grandmasters said, Charles, I think it's time for you to go back because people were saying that <laughs> you could have probably took it a long way, but I right. broke my um ankle. Okay. And I couldn't continue. Uh, and sometimes when you break it in a certain way mm -hmm. and it doesn't heal right, you got to start learning how to all over again. learn. So I had yeah. to learn how to balance myself all over again. It was a whole mm -hmm. chaotic uh, event from right. that. But he is going for another competition. And it's funny because we've been teaching. And now all of a sudden we got to go for competition That's again. Right. And some of these people, I'm like, <laughs> I look at them like, okay, I'm just going to have to knock you out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I don't got time to be playing around no and doing fights. all these jumps and, and backflips and all this stuff. I'm just going to have to break a leg maybe or something. I don't know. Um, I'll get disqualified, but I'm going to let you know if this was a real fight. You, would, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, because we were watching uh, a video. He sent me a video on, on YouTube, and he was like, yo, Charles, look at these people doing their uh, katas. A kata is a show of the forms, like how right. you do your moves. Right. He was like, I haven't seen him do one traditional kick or punch this guy is doing flips high three four hundred spins in the air and all this stuff and i'm like okay i'm gonna have to break his legs then wait for it you know what i'm saying <laughs> because you ain't spinning three hours wait and i'm just mm -hmm. okay are you gonna come down like you know sidestep okay? and just wait for it yeah. <laughs> and a lot of them are performers that's what i'm that's what i mean by that yeah and i don't know where in these years it happened but mm. Really, there's these martial arts that martial artists like us, like mm -hmm. real, real, they are a little teed off because now competition is becoming a performance. Mm -hmm. I saw this coming. I saw this coming. I'm like, well, with Port Mitchell and all of them, they have I performance um, yeah. plays. And if the, long, the more you can do kicks in the air. Well, here's, here's the thing about attention. If you're a great martial artist, this is like double-edged sword. You're a great martial artist and you know, you know your stuff. And your strike takes somebody out. While somebody went to get something to eat or went to the bathroom, show was over. Yeah, they, they're pissed off. So to make it longer, longer. okay, we got to take out the real fighters and give you a little bit of a show. Yeah, I think that's what was going on. Um, because I remember a couple competitions. Blame, blame Mike Tyson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, basically. Mike started that. Yeah. Um, and that's why a lot of the uh, cause 
and people, y'all been watching MMA. Mm. These MMA fighters, I'm not going to take nothing away from them. They're right. great. But some of them need lessons. If you notice, there's no Kung Fu expert in I'm MMA. I'm so glad they you took touched them out. on that. <laughs> there's no That's Thai fighters in MMA. That's my they pet took peeve. them out. If you notice that. Mm. So what mixed martial arts are you talking about? There is none. That's why they just call it MMA. Whatever that's supposed to stand for is not what you just said. <laughs> no, I'm just what I'm saying. It's, you know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, there's uh, good champions that are uh, fighters. The right. heavyweight MMA fighters I do not watch. Like Brock Lesnar and all of them. Right. Because you're not really fighting. First of all, they're grabbing and throwing the person on the floor. and holding. That's all they taught them. That's it. That's all they taught them. But the lightweights and the uh, middleweight guys, they are good. Mm. But then again, I'm like, when Gracie, Gracie Jones and his family was there, right. that was when MMA started. Did That's you, when they had the Kung Fu guys and all that. But then they took them out. Did you ever watch that show Tough Enough? Did you oh, ever, from WWE? Yeah. yeah. Did you ever watch that? All right. Well, from Tough Enough and when they were doing their so-called uh, UFC auditions. Right. And you're watching these guys go at each other and kill each other. And you're noticing the only thing that they're teaching them is how to strike mm -hmm. and how to pound the ground, get on the ground, and maybe a submission, one or two. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And they're telling these guys they're mixed martial yeah. arts fights. Yeah, you can't, you can't That's it. elbow to the back. If mm -hmm. you notice elbow in the face or the mm -hmm. stuff, but you can't elbow to the back. Right. You can't uh, side kick to the shin. Right. Um, That's a break. So <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> well, the guys, they don't even come in their geese anymore, man. I remember watching yeah, that when like they I'm came saying, in like their Grace Jones, they came in their geese. Yeah. They, uh -huh. You know, oh, wow, this is a karate guy. Oh, this is a junior right. guy. You, Boxer, you, you know, sumo, you know, that's mixed, you Not, know what I mean? Yeah, but now they just everybody wears kumite. You know, yeah, that's pretty much what it is, though. Real fighters go to kumite. That's, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, I remember uh, one of my first kumite. I'll never go again after that, but yeah, <laughs> I won, <laughs> but I'll never go again. I'm just saying, um, the things I seen to the next level mm -hmm. was like that kickboxer where the guy was hitting the um the um the stone. You mean Tong Po? Yeah. When he was kicking the whole beam off the ceiling, right? Things, things like that boom, are real. Boom, I boom. seen this guy, this is when I started taking up um Thai, mm -hmm. Thai boxing, because this guy had a, a stick with rope wrapped around. And he was like, boom, boom. And I'm like, okay. So as a young, <laughs> as a young kid, I thought I could do it. I was like 12, 13 years old. Nah, Boom, my man. shins were like all oh, hurting. <laughs> nah, One man. kid. So I started taking it up, and after a while, I started hitting the pose on the stuff, and it took me years. I'm not going to say it took me a couple months, Brother. but it took me years and bruises. Brother. That right now, I, I can't even block with my shins in a competition. They say no. That's, that's that from but that same again, movie, man. Kick the tree. Kick the tree. If you kick and I do this and you hit me and you hurt, why am I getting a disqualification? I don't know. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. But anyway, we, we need a martial arts um, show right here on the network so we can explain everything that's going on. I, I remember well, a lot of traditional stuff from yeah, uh, my you know? dad. My dad had about three schools out in Baltimore, Maryland. Can't tell you his name right now. Good reasons. Uh, but he had well, you gotta guess. a couple of he had a couple of martial arts show uh, schools out there. And I remember I came to one of the display competitions and I picked up the board. OK, it's nice. Sanded off, boarded wood. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, this is this has got to be a crack somewhere. Where I could just pop it and put it back in. I'm thinking, right, it's right, like right, that. yeah. Ah, it's none of that. Oh, the breakable boards. You know, right. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, you know, he's running around doing his thing, getting his guys ready. Everybody's flipping around, using the swords and nunchucks and all that stuff. Okay, you know, I had to be about maybe 11, and uh, I made sure nobody was looking. You know, went and punched the board. <laughs> Won't do that again, mm -hmm. right? I watched this man take this board, that same board that I punched. I didn't punch it with all my might. You know, I felt it when I hit it. Yeah, they yeah. say, you know, if you think about it, you know, you'll feel it when you hit it. But I watched them take this same board and bow with his forehead. And then picked up two and bow. Yeah. Picked up three. Bow. Yeah, I seen the bricks. Whatever you say, you the man. I will not disrespect yeah. you. I do whatever you say, Dad. You the boss. Yeah, you, you know. <laughs> you the boss. Speaking of, of traditional <laughs> stuff, you guys don't know, but if you take, uh, like I took one time four boards, no spacing, just together like this. And we had two guys holding it. This was the first time that I heard my teacher's voice in my head how to hit the, the, the thing. Right. My whole thing was I was supposed to go right through the whole board. Mm -hmm. All four of them break. But I'm there and I'm concentrating and something just took over me. And when I went like this and I hit it, the backboard just said, boom, and it blew up. Mm -hmm. 
you hear the kids, <laughs> he didn't even break it. As soon as he said that, the grandmaster stood up, took these three kids and said, get up. I need 100 push-ups because you don't understand what power is. This guy's punch means he would have broke your back through your front. And since that day, I realized that's the punch that he was trying to explain mm -hmm, to me. Mm -hmm. How all the, uh, oh, oh, we got flex in the house. Uh, you know, we, we, we're going to bring him back. We're, bring we're, him in we're the demoting him to 1X. 1X. <laughs> We're going to bring them in with the commercial break. Go, but anyway, go, ladies and gentlemen, flux. again, this is a crossover. <laughs> so, you know, he, he came all Papi Chulo looking. 1X. 1X. So we got to take a commercial and bring them in. But, uh, yeah, but the traditional um, thing of breaking boards, now they're real thin. Of course. I seen this. Because they don't train the way you guys used to train. Notice I said you guys train. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> what happened to the half inch to the one inch? They don't do push-ups on the rice anymore, bro. No. You know I don't want to <laughs> You know what it is? The parents, uh-uh, you ain't doing that to my child. I'll sue you, boy. I'm like, man, I wish my mom was like that because I was getting hit with sticks <laughs> in my stomach. Yeah, me too. My brick, you know, stuff like that. I knew but... the kendo stick was a long time ago. <laughs> no, those, those kendo sticks don't hurt. They sting. Like, you know, they leave like a little itchy. Like, you'd be like, ah, ah. It, it, it got to be from that whip that's going nowhere around your back. It, yeah. it got to be that, right? The sand, the <laughs> sand, like, if you, uh, well, the cameras won't see, but I, I can show him. Like, you see all the dark, right? Right. From here. Those were the sands that we used to, the hot, and it used to, it's my, my, you know, but it's, it's, like, it's going to make your skin ah, stronger. But it, it was all for yeah, a reason. Yeah, yeah. So, but we're going to check out some more independent artists that yeah. are nominees for the LDM Music Awards. So, and then when we come back, we're going to have another member from Dear Summer here. One uh, X. Papi Tulo X. One X. Papi Tulo X, one X. Hey, we'll be right back. Check <laughs> <laughs> us out. <laughs> Here are the 2019 LDM <laughs> Independent Music Awards nominees jealous. in the jazz <laughs> category. Black City! Wishing you the best. Wishing you the best. Wishing you the best. You want to grab a chair and a mic? Sean Adam Williams <laughs> with Miss High Roller. Miss High Roller. Let me tell you something like this here. Look here. Pam Tate with Gonna Get It Right. Leah BN with Rhythm of Life. These was the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the jazz category. 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the Latin category. Savi with dinero. Dame dinero, dinero. Quiero dinero, dinero. Vivo solo por dinero. Me lo tiro solo por dinero. Michael Beltran with Make Him Dance. Miguel E. John Q. Con Déjate Llevar. Vanessa Verduga. Continuo a advertir. are the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the Latin category. <laughs> Hello and Can welcome be, back to the LDM show. Crossover with Dear Summer. What's up, people? We just added another cast member hey, right hey, here. Hey, One next. Mr. Flex right here in the house. Hey, so. hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hear you, you hear oh, we here, we here. Listen, listen, listen. I have two X's for you. It took me hard. It's a lot of hard work. Give me that second X. Uh -huh. he's, wor he's working on the uh, triple X, thinking that he's Ice Cube. Or no, 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 no. He don't no, get a third I, X. I, I, no, no, get, no, no. Two, it, two, two listen, is his limit. Listen, two? Man, two, two, two is a lot of hard work to maintain. I'm, that's I'm, why I, it's his limit. I don't even want one. <laughs> I don't even want one of my X's back. <laughs> that's, what, oh. that's what I'm saying. 
Listen, <laughs> but look, but look, two exes. I got two kids. Oh, two mothers. okay. Flex, flat that. Right at. Okay. <laughs> I had nothing to do with why there's two X's. Yeah, yeah. He just he do, just added that in there. It sounded do, good. Do not though. adjust your TV. Yes, just, Flex is on early. Yes, yeah, he is. Just, Flex is here early. I just figured I would just say that to say it. Make it look good. Aha. Uh -huh. Network be that, dropping. Wait, mics. wait, wait. Is, is he lying? I don't know. I don't Something know. Something just happened in the corner. The Lord said they'll strike you down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> was, was that the total truth? Did you leave something out? Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, like, I think you like, left something now. Network was like, I don't want to like, hear these lies. Listen, I think you left listen, something now. Like Dave Chappelle, like Dave Chappelle <laughs> said, <laughs> he left something out. There's, there's so many numbers, <laughs> and I can only choose one. Hey, but uh, one, uh, two, three, four. Oh God! But not, not <laughs> you see why we have a lot of fun here on uh, Thursdays. Uh, you got to watch. Like again, I said, eight o'clock is more than just a workout. You learn and tune you in. Tune in. So you got to tune in on all the shows on this network, but um, tune in, especially to the ones that you really like and let us know what you like about it, what there you, you don't like about it. There you go. We might not change what you don't like, but hey, at least we know. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> hey man, you, I mean, it, it's, it's, opinions. It's, it's okay. You know, opinions are like, no, I'm not even going to say it. Man. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, You're on TV. <laughs> opinions to me are like diapers. They're always on your ass and they're full of. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. See, I didn't, keep yours. I don't want to say it. See, that, that see was, but I, had, I couldn't say the whole word. You know, we on the LDM yeah. show, but keep uh, yours. So I, I'll say the clean. But opinions are like belly buttons. Everybody has one. They're just not always clean. Yeah, they, they full of lint that stink. Um. Anyway. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we were. Uh, I was talking earlier today, and I want to ask you guys two questions. But the first one is, I was talking about how this little kid, 11 years old. Um, if you guys just logged in, don't rewind it. I'm talking about it right now again. <laughs> Please don't. Um, 11 year old, 600 dollar phone got robbed. Mm -hmm. Everybody's blaming, you know, the uh, the robber. Okay, yeah, he broke the law. I said, first of all, why is he having 600 dollars? Exactly. I said, blame the parents. Let's, you know, because in America, it's, mm -hmm. especially with the uh, Spanish and Black people, uh, the card, the black card, mm -hmm. throw it away. You stop using the black card for every little damn thing. Right. It's tiring already. Let's start taking the blame where we yeah. Yeah. You think anybody in this panel got where they were by complaining? Yes. Not me. I did. Not me. Well, <laughs> not me. Complain, but you did something about it. You know not what I'm saying? Like, no, oh, no, damn, no. this is not working. I got to no, do this. I'll be, I got to do that. Can you fix I'll be, it? I'll be like this. Honestly, it's like the complaining is like I noticed growing up. Man. You can complain all you want to. Still got to do it. My dad would always look at me like, oh, all right, well, um, when you're done, <laughs> Make sure you finish what I just told you to do. Yeah, that's it. I heard you. Like, I heard you. Yeah, yeah. So you know that's 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 where my I hear you comes from. Like I just yeah, I, I hear you. I I'm hear just you. Not listening right now. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. Okay. And it was just true because how many times your, your mom or somebody said go pick that up? Oh, but I don't really want to. I think they're, uh, like they're closer. You're, you're gonna pick it up. Finished? You're gonna pick it up. You finished? Well, then go pick it up now. You know you're what I'm saying? So you can sound like Birdman all day. Yeah. Are you, you, know? are you done? Or are you finished? Are you right? Are you uh, done? Or are you finished? But. It, it, they gave him a, a $700 phone, first of all. Yeah. So I blame the parents for sending him out at 11-year-old with a $700 phone. And you know these kids are going to show off and start showing people. You know what I'm saying? Right. So eventually he was going to get robbed. It wasn't that day. He would have probably got robbed the next day. He probably would have got robbed by his own family in the house. You never know. You never know. But it's $700 phone where you could have gone to Kmart or Walmart and got him a $40 phone. I'm, I'm trying to understand what is it? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just know. trying to understand <laughs> what it does for $700. Does it answer for you? Does, well, it, do, does it do Siri I, well, by I, itself? Well, I... Well, one thing it doesn't do it and protect them. It <laughs> but, I, but I bet you the phone it, had protection. Oh, yeah, the phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it had, it, had a protector, had it insurance, had, it had, all of that. It had the 595 um, yeah. one-year protection plan. I <laughs> bet you. And it's yeah. still working. But, but, you know, but $700, you know, I would be <laughs> pissed off at that phone. You don't tell me you didn't kick the, 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 the robber and help my son? Because they had to do something. Listen, hey. the phone the phone should have did the bye bye listen, saying back. It should have did that. Listen, it just listen, wrapped the, around the guy. The, and The phone does something, okay? <laughs> Yeah. It does do something at seven hundred dollars. Okay, I'm now listening. Now you can locate the phone. Here's the problem. I give you an example. Uh, my yeah, son, but I could just check my son. Off. My son, his mom bought him. I don't understand why, but mm. bought him an uh, iPad. Okay. Didn't understand it. Um, he had an Android tablet, which was thirty dollars, which was fine with me. You know, do what you okay. does the same thing a tablet, an iPad does. Yeah, except exactly. You just can't FaceTime. So I said, well, I'll I'll download Uvu or. Yeah, yeah. Other, uh, yeah, gotcha. yeah. Whatever yeah. video chat, Joy. I, gotcha. I downloaded my phone. We could talk through that. So, uh, no, her, you know, mom likes, you know, for lack of better terms, she likes throwing away money. 
Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So I I FaceTime my son. Yeah, not yesterday. Yesterday was his birthday. Mm-hmm. The day before. Happy birthday, young king. Um, I FaceTimed him, and then some kid answered. He's like, "What up, God?" I was like, <laughs> "What?" Okay. What up, God? I was like, man, was they like, still use that word. That was that was the other guy inside that the sun. His other was, personality. Nah, that was just some other dude, some, some random, random kid. Like he was like, <laughs> he was like, what up, God? I was like, and I'm looking at him for thirty seconds. I'm like, <laughs> cause I don't know who you are. I'm like, who are you? He was this. I, I I grabbed my other phone. I'm like, wait, but I dialed the right number. I'm like, hold up. Nah, yeah, yeah, this is the right number. I'm, like, I'm looking. I'm like. Well, you can't uh, reach in and grab him, you know. Yeah. You can't. Like, like you're not my, <laughs> you're not my stepson. Who, who are you? Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know, he hung up on me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, nah. So I called back, and she answers the phone. Now, okay. the thing about it is, okay. with with iPhone or anything Apple, everything is by your email. Right. Yeah. So your all your phones are connected by that email. So by calling it, I called I it again. She was like. I didn't know who was calling me because I don't have that number of yours. I said, that's right. I didn't give it to you. Um, but she was, like, <laughs> she was like, but I said, but how many New Yorkers do you know? Yeah, right. You know, like, like, I don't know. makes me sense. sick, man. Well, it makes how, me sick. How many New Yorkers are going to FaceTime? Wait yeah. a minute. Wait a minute. That's right. I forgot. I didn't give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but hey. hey but it's, it's, all, it's all about uh, protection yeah. and taking the blame, I guess. Taking well, the blame for what things are going on. I, I think what the me, phone company should do now. It's, it's like when your phone is stolen or when you can report it stolen, it should give off like that big red siren and just make a whole bunch of noise. Yeah. It does. No, but there, does. there's a phone on, that's on, like on the, um, 60, iPhone. 70 You just make a whole bunch of noise and yeah, that it, way it you'll does. know the phone yeah. is stolen. But here's the whole thing about it. It's like the thing about it with Apple is here's the problem with Apple is the fact that, and, you know, I love Apple. Apple. I don't. You know, um, no, no, I love saying. them if they sponsor us. No, I, I'm, yeah. <laughs> now I mean, I'm just saying it because I leave my phone to work when we leave. Yeah, um, he does. Yeah, I so, don't. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know the thing about you know one thing I don't like is the fact that all right, you can do everything. You you can't. The, the plus side is, but Apple when you report it, it is considered a theft, a robbery. Right, right, right. You can get there's charges put up against it because okay. the amount the amount of money the phone costs. Okay. It's over five hundred dollars. Right. Yeah, you're getting a charge. Right, right, you right. You know what I'm saying? Now, but the problem is, once you delete, once you erase the whole whole iPad or iPhone or whatever, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? It's like you deleted your it, whole yeah, life. Yeah, you delete everything. Yeah. Everything is gone. So it's and like, this is why I'll never be Apple. Mm. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's the cloud. It's the cloud. But you need the, you need the password mm-hmm. and stuff. But that's the problem. So it's like when the iPad is gone, Android. So you know what it is. Got I FaceTime him. Yeah. The dude picks up. So when he picks up, I'm looking at you for 30 seconds. I don't know who the hell who the you, heck are. you are. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> you know, and I, I'm asking her. She was like, oh, you know, it might be my um your stepson's uh, friend. You know, he came to the house one day, and then the day he came is the same day your son's iPad uh, was missing. missing. I yeah. was like, okay, well, have him send me a picture of the kid, what he looked like. You know what I'm saying? And if that's him, tell him to go press him. He was like, and she was like, it's not a big deal. I said, let me explain yeah, something to you. It's a big deal. Let me explain something how I grew up. Hmm. If somebody took something from me, I'm pressing you. From my house. I'm pressing. You're not coming to my house, leaving my house with my stuff. I don't care if it's my stuff from 88. Mm. It's mine. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Auction it off. Press everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm it, it's, it's hard enough, but they have uh, a phone. It was kid phone. Uh-huh. It has like four or five numbers that you program in it. Right. It has a couple of the apps. I think they still you know have that. They still I, have it, right? They still have it. Yeah. Why are you not giving that to your kids? They don't need a seven, eight hundred dollar phone. Cause you give not... them that phone. It texts their friends. You get a text at the same time, mm-hmm. so that you know who they texting. You know what I'm saying? And if you approve, you just press approve, and you never have to worry about it again. Well, the word is you know called uh, keep bougie. With, it, well, yeah. Not only bougie, <laughs> keeping up with the Joneses. Not, not, not that. I think it's more of you want to be friends with your kids. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mom, but everybody got 700 Then go live with everybody because you ain't living in my house with a $700 phone. Who paying that bill, though? Who paying that bill? I, let me tell you something. Stop I, being friends. I, I'm, not, I'm not here to be your friend. Exactly. I'm paying that bill. Listen, Android. Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, <laughs> it's called look. the same way you got your brother's shirt that Android. he don't wear no more, you're going to get your brother's phone that he ain't going to use no more. Android. Listen, matter of fact, I use my phone. My wife upgrades. That's when I upgrade my phone because I take hers. Listen. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I just want a phone to do what it's supposed to do. I Make a phone call. That's it. I literally <laughs> had to. I had to buy a new phone, right? And I didn't want to. Mm-hmm. I had the iPhone six, and the, the dude, the people at the, I get an email from Apple. 
yeah, your phone's going to be obsolete. I'm like, man, I was trying to keep it for another six years. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's another thing, of yeah, obsolete. Well, you better leave my phone alone. Like, man, because, like, what's going ha- to happen, like, usually with these phones, what happens is that they tend to uh, run their course as far as updates and stuff like that. Uh, and then, it becomes, um, then it becomes a brick. Sir, um, but you they can still actually, text. except for Androids. Well, here's, here's the problem with that. Just, yes, just to let you guys know, they actually program the phone to actually diminish at a certain point. That's mm-hmm. when the new, that's when the new version comes well, out. Oh yeah, no, no, I, it'll, I, it'll I, last long no, enough I, to the seven, no, and then I, the seven will last long enough to the eight. Yeah, yeah no, 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 listen, listen. <laughs> what I do is I just download the stuff and I'm, break and brick it, and I, I can use the phone. I'm listen, man. I, this is why I buy the biggest iCloud. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I everything. I could have the smallest amount of memory on my phone, but guess what? That little cloud shows that's I, still I, on my phone. I got a simple still question. Out there. I got a simple I question. Still, still expensive. What's, what's, <laughs> the difference, what's the difference between a 6 and a 7? You're asking the numbers. Me? Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. jumped from a 6 to a 10. Okay, I, what's the difference between a 6 <laughs> and a 10? Four what's the digits. difference? Um, yeah, four yeah, digits. I was going to do the Jay-Z thing about 3 or 40 grand cups. I'm going to beat it. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> four digits. What's the difference? I don't know. It works. See, exactly. see my, my thing is this. If it's a 6 and it works and it's not broke, why do you need a 7? Oh, mm-hmm. because what's, my, what's the difference? My, well, my six is gonna. Well, I, I I feel you where you're coming from. Uh huh. But I felt like treating myself for the first time in my life. Oh, I'm oh, still see, asking. That, that's wait, wait, a different. That's I'm different. still asking. That's, but I'm still asking. I, I get it. I get so it. you do it. So you do an eight, right? Yeah. So you do a ten, right? Yeah. So when he does a ten, when you do the ten and the eleven come out, what's the difference? Let me say something. This ten is. Tell gonna me something. I'm listening. No, I don't care about the eleven. This ten is gonna last ten more years. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. This is not fair. If I, I, I would have had an iPhone, I would still been on the iPhone negative one. I would have been on the prototype <laughs> no, right now. I'm still. telling you. You know what I'm saying? I'm Android. Stingy. I'm, I'm telling you. Listen, I had a Android. The listen. only reason I upgraded to this phone is because my wife's mom gave her the iPhone, so I took her phone. That's the only man. way I'm gonna man. upgrade. That's it. Now I don't upgrade. I'll be like, oh, you gonna upgrade? Because then I'll take your iPhone. But I don't really. Like no, I I'm don't not need changing my phone until it don't work listen, no more. Listen, let me all I you. use my phone is for email, text, and call. And, and check it. And no even one? even when my phone is off, I get Wi-Fi. Android. Let me explain something. <laughs> same thing with Apple. Same thing with Apple. <laughs> I'll, be like, I'll be like Master Ty walking around like this, looking for, 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 for Android. Wi-Fi. We got listen, all the benefits. You hear that, listen, mess? Listen, Android. Listen. Same, anyway, the same thing with Apple, man. Listen, See, I just can't call and, Android. And they Apple again. As a matter of fact, I'll just go to Jap- um, order from Japan or China and get an iPhone lookalike and put my Android thing, and now I got an Android. IPhone. You know what's gonna happen? They're gonna get tired of making all these apples, and they're gonna make arms, and y'all gonna be all destroyed. Oh damn. <laughs> I don't even like oranges. Oh. I don't even like oranges. That's when I go back to Android. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, like we said, uh, keep your kids safe. Just stop trying to blame the world for your mistake. Mm-hmm. Let's try to put the blame where it goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like uh, I just posted up about if you don't like this country, then go to the place where you were better off. Mm. Um, in other words, you were, wasn't better off. That's the reason why you came to this, this country. Mm. Right? Um, so stop complaining about what the government is doing to you. Um, you came here for a better life. You thought they were just going to give it to you? Well, they, they got sold the dream, you know, so now they're mad. No, no, but in that dream, did you hear anybody say, yeah, you're going to go there and they're going to give it to you? I never heard no one tell you, no. Life of opportunity, it, it right? It says Land you can go over there and if you can make it, if you can make it there. That's only in New York. Then you can make it anywhere. <laughs> listen, but listen. New but York. Listen, but listen. It's only in New York. But listen, but listen. Can't make it anywhere, listen, everywhere this, in, this, in this, America. This, no, this, no, this, no. This is what I be yeah, you can't go to like this, uh, Tennessee and stuff like that. Well, see, this, this is what I tell everybody. It's like the dream is free. All day. Mm-hmm. All day. The work is hard. Yeah. You know what That's what you got to pay. You always got to do that work. Unless you're smart. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not. Well, even, <laughs> even, even, even if, if you're smart, smart, you still got to work. You got to work together. See, what I learned, what I learned is the smart workers don't work. They get other people to work for them. It still works. You got you got you, co- you got to convince them like, hey, yeah. um, you're a dummy. You're gonna work for me. You I've, know done, what I'm I've done that. I've and done you that. Gotta, yeah, not only that, you got to keep watching them and, yeah. and pushing them. No, so no, 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 no. Works. Then you have never got to watch them. You know what I mean? So you talk them. You watch them. Everybody watch each other. And then you become president. I'm gonna go to sleep. But you know, yeah. but you know what it is? It's like and you become president. <laughs> nah, like, cause a couple he, bankruptcies here and there. It sound. You sound like that's what Trump did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, so he has a point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, he got a point. Yeah, you know, yeah, Trump, you know, Trump fire that. some people, you're fired, and you know, and then you become yeah. president. Yeah, but yeah. uh, but in reality, yeah, stop complaining for Thanks. every little thing. Uh, if they didn't give you the job and because you got there 30 minutes late, it wasn't the man. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm. You can't listen. Let me tell you. You can't put the yo, tie behind your yo, back. When you, know you know say that, yo, oh my god, this, <laughs> holy <laughs> cow! Kind of that, man. Listen, it come. when I tell you, I, yo, when I, yo, holy, Ooh, cow. you okay? You're right. I hit a nerve. I hit a nerve. Yo, when <laughs> I, I hear those things, like, right. yo, 
take responsibility, nobody, yo. Nobody you does. like nobody like, does. When I sit there and like if somebody, if, yo, yeah, if something was to happen and uh, you know people's coming down, oh, why'd you do this? Da, 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 and if I know it's because of me, mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, yo, my bad. You're right. It's my fault. Right. I'm gonna fix it. Right. That's what I. That's what I do. But at the end of the day, if I know mm-hmm. it's not my fault, oh, I'm pressing you all day. Oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, that has nothing to do with me. I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? No, you're not giving me the blame for that one. That's not happening. That's like um, this. Uh, I play in a adult league, adult basketball league, to uh, raise money for these for their school, right? Um, for their gym and for a kid to get a scholarship to go to that prep school. Mm-hmm. So it's one. I'm watching this team play, and you know my friend plays on the team, and like he's not an athlete altogether. You know what I mean? So right. it's like. He's playing, but he's playing for the love of the game and mm-hmm. exercise and to get off all six days of pent-up aggression out <laughs> of the court. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he does. And I respect him, I respect him for that. You know what I'm saying? And right, I love right. his energy because he doesn't want to lose. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And he just he's just so passionate about what he's doing. And his team, two kid, one kid in particular, when the team loses, he finds somebody else to blame. Blame. Of course. Of you know course. what I'm saying? Cause so I played as a favor to my friend to play on their team there for opening game of the season. I'm okay. not even on that team. So I just, I, I'll play because you guys are shorter guy. Played five guys, 20 minutes, um, 40 minutes of uh, basketball. Played, and we lost. Mm. I had, you know, statistically, I did a pretty, I did a decent job. You know what I'm saying? Eight points, right. 10 rebounds. Um, he remembers assists. all of that. Yeah, <laughs> I remember numbers. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? At, no, 13 boards. Yeah. Um, I had so, a couple girls screaming at me, you know, holler here. So, you know, here, you know, so, you know, you know I shot. sat there, yeah. and he, he said he went to the, his team chat room and was like, you know, I'm not going to say no names, but, you know, the kid that was playing on our team that's not on our team, we lost <laughs> because of him because he didn't care. <laughs> so when his team is playing again and I'm watching them, then it's funny because the team that they're playing again is the team they initially lost to. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I was playing. And then they were losing by 20 points. And I said, listen, he came over there. He said, yo, we lost because of you. I said, so I'm not playing right now. Why y'all still losing? Why y'all still losing? Because when I was playing, we lost by five. You're losing by 20. Mm-hmm. Numbers don't lie, bro. Like, yeah. what, what's it, the problem? I don't think the whole – that's why it was – like, this whole week I've been discussing it with, with the staff members and all that. People do not want to take the blame. Like, mm-hmm. with the discussion about the phone, I had right. a big discussion with one of the staff. No, you can't blame the robber. Ch- I mean, the parents, Charles. It was the robber. He was out there robbing. Nah, but you parent. gave him the ammo. Like, why? Why would you? Why would you? Why it's would like, you? come on, take first, the blame first of all, for once. You know, it's, it, we live in a day and age where people don't want to buy nothing for themselves. They'd rather take it from somebody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah so saying? so it's like, it's like, why even give them the opportunity to take? Listen, I work hard for my money. The little bit of change I get, you know what I'm saying. I work hard for that. Yeah, I'm just not gonna give you. My daughter just literally got an i uh, not an iPhone, sorry, um, Galaxy S10e, and mm-hmm. that's just because that's because she she earned it. You know, she's 10, but she earned it because okay. she had all kinds of trash phones, hand me downs, this, that, and the third. So she went and through. She, it. Yeah, and she, she, went she took it. care of every phone. And did they still um, work? Oh uh, yeah, they still work. <laughs> <laughs> they, that, 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 how you think they got that phone? They traded in all them phones. Phones. They got <laughs> that phone. <laughs> and they got that phone. It happened. You know? It happened. So, you know, it's a big debt, you yeah. know, taken away on that bill. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, my, my son has a, a tablet, and he uses it. He knows how to use it. But mm. I ain't, when we walk, I'll be like, give me the tablet. Mm-hmm. No, I hold it. No, no. you're not. Mm. You're mm. three years old. Well, going to be three. You're not walking with a tablet. Plain and simple. Right. Okay. And he'll put it in the bag and we'll walk. No, no, your it's son's money. Your it's for safety. You know, no, your son's kind of Debo, man. He Debo, yeah. man. He be bullying. Yeah, he, he's a little man. tiny bully. Yeah, I have no but, uh, idea. No. But, yeah, with, no. but with that said, I'm going to be coming back next week with a guest. But don't, well, don't leave your house. If you do, take your expensive phone with you and make sure you tell the robber, <laughs> don't steal this phone because I got to watch Dear Summer at 8. Tell the robber to tune in at 8 o'clock. Matter of fact, you and the robber be sitting there yeah. at 10 o'clock, then he could just take your phone. Yo, whatever happens <laughs> after, that, 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 that's completely okay. Real quick, uh, it's a question. You and your ex in a room. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Well, guys, you're going to have to, we, we ran out of time, but if you and your ex was um, caught in a room, what mm. will you do, real quick? What, what would I do? Gonna, what was gonna do? Uh, it'd be quiet, man. I'd probably be writing a song out of something. It. Mind my business. I, yeah. I, I will. I will officially have written another book. See, we all be writing, brainstorming. Wait, wait. I tell you what, it depends on 
on which one it is. Because yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I can, uh, I can, I know the reason why I say that. If it was a nice one, because, oh, because I can go like if it's uh, my ex uh, is an ex for a reason. No, I'm no, gonna no. write my song and ignore that. No, 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 <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Next, like the sideways. Listen, if it was one of my bad exes, if it was one of my bad exes, you would see a note slide right under the door. Call Kay, me a so. lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the, and that's the whole thing. It's like, no, for real, like, my son's mom, I, I, I have nothing much to say to her because we'd end up arguing. And, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this you is, can't even your talk. Your side of the my, elevator? This is my, my side of the elevator. My, Don't my, come over here. My daughter's here. mother? Yo, like, man, we just crack mad jokes. Like, remember how back in the day we was always talking about what if we got stuck in the elevator? <laughs> yeah, that's true, though. Look at this. Like, I, I have an uh, uh, ex I think I would have been I'm bugging good. out with. Yeah, well, we would have been. But the other exes, I, I don't know. No, I'm good. I'll be in the corner, but like, girl, don't even say one word. Because each and every last one of them would have panicked and flipped out because the elevator stuck. First of all, they're going to try to grab up on oh, you and hold no. on to you. I'll be... Nah. That little tiny hole that they have, there you I'll go. try to squeeze through there. Talking about save me, you're an ex for a reason. As a, anyway, as with a that kid, said, that's <laughs> not it. Hey, we're gonna be leaving. We're gonna see you next week, eight o'clock, dear summer. Every Don't go Thursday. nowhere. Check them out. <laughs> you know, come back if you want to still be with us. Go on uh, the podcast. They're gonna be having a podcast talk. Um, or listen to some good music from the independent Facts. artists. You might hear Sandor's song pop that's up. That's right. That's right. So, and you might not hear me. Yeah. You know. There you go. No, that's definitely you're not gonna yeah, hear. Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's, it's not. <laughs> Unless, not gonna happen. Unless, unless I'm just on there just being a DJ or just yeah. talking in the background like he's singing nights like this. Unless, unless, we, unless we put our name on it. Go for it. We're going to add them. Go ahead. Go for it. Nights like this. I wish, wish the raindrops would fall. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, there yeah, you go. There you go. The raindrops are <laughs> down. And we're going to see you in the next time. <laughs> come around. Hey, come around. <laughs> hey, this is the LDM Show. Check you out next week. Uh, and remember, stay safe and take the blame for your responsibility. There you go. We we'll see you guys at 8 o'clock. Because it's your responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Two X's.